How's it going guys, it's Jack Bing here and I'm back again, back with another video on the new MacBook, the new M1. Um, I put up a video yesterday of just an unboxing and uh, based on the comments, thanks so much for getting in touch by the way guys, uh, a lot of you wanted to see benchmarks. And so I know there's other people out there that are going to do really good extensive benchmarks, tests, things like that and we might get there but what I wanted to do is kind of play to my strengths and I wanted to test out Photoshop, which is what I use every day. I basically use Photoshop and Final Cut. So I have installed Photoshop on my Mac and it was a little bit clunky, I've got to say. Um, just getting it installed required a kind of, I had to click OK on a lot of different things and approve a few different things and, you know, because it's running on this kind of Mac Universal app Rosetta thing where it's actually... On, it's running on the M1, but it's kind of using the Intel version. It's kind of really weird and not optimized. So I wasn't sure how fast it would be or how it would keep up, but I will put a little video just right here somewhere of uh, me creating the thumbnail for this video. And uh, it actually worked really, really well. Once I got it installed um, and actually on the computer, a few things were just like a tiny bit clunky. Like if I'm just being picky, um, you know, when you're just like importing files, um, you know, it was probably a tiny bit slower than it could be. Um, and also the export, because I think when you're exporting it back onto the M1, onto the computer, I think then it kind of, um, I don't know, it has to do a little bit more effort than usual because it's going through this kind of emulator. Um, so that was a little bit slow, but I used it to make the thumbnail, which is not crazy strenuous on Photoshop, but honestly, there was probably 20 layers there. I used shadows, I used all sorts of different um, blending options and just stacked up heaps of different things, and it kept up with me. Um, I was a little bit clunky myself using it because it wasn't exactly my regular setup. Um, because it's a brand new computer, I had to put an extra font on there and stuff like that. In the end, it did everything that I asked it to. It had no issues at all. You know, there was probably like the tiniest little bit of lag and I'm only being picky on that because it's a brand new computer and it should be kind of really, really sharp. But I would say 98% of it, it was exactly the same as using Photoshop on my PC here or on my old MacBook, which was the old 2019, also 16 gig of RAM. It would be on par, if not just the tiniest, tiniest bit more laggy. Um, but yeah, I actually don't think it's enough to really, um, to kind of warrant saying that it doesn't work. So a lot of people are saying Photoshop doesn't work on the new M1. It definitely does. It works amazing. The optimized apps like uh, Lightroom and the actual Apple apps are just, and Safari is just mental so fast and they're so good. Um, and I'm sure there's so many other reviews on those, but Photoshop, actually works really really well it's a bit clunky installing it once you get it up and running uh it's great honestly so hopefully that little video down there helped you to uh i guess just see how well it works and how kind of fast i could get things done and uh honestly it was easy it was easy so there it is that's just a really quick little update for you guys on using photoshop on the m1 if you had any hesitations uh now you know that it will work an absolute dream Hopefully you guys liked that video. If you did, click the like button. Hey, if you want to see me do anything else on this computer, if you're thinking about buying it and you just want to see anything tested, let me know. I'm happy to do it. Um, I really like just whipping out these really quick little uh, videos where I can just show you what I've done and, and share my experience because I feel super lucky that uh, I got it really early. So if there's anything you want me to do, shoot, shoot me a comment down below. And uh, yeah, you guys are awesome. Subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of things. And uh, I'll see you next time.